All right, you guys, what's up? It is Jamie May here, back here with another one. And today I have a grappling tutorial for my beginners or people that's really not that great on the ground. I got something for you, don't worry. But before we get into the tutorial, please be sure to subscribe and hit that like button for more content like this. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Before we get into the tutorial itself, you need to change your grappling settings. I know a lot of y'all don't even know about this, okay? So what you need to do, you need to go down into your settings, go down into gameplay, scroll all the way down to where you see grapple hud and now for most players if you don't notice the default grapple hud is going to be grapple assist that is quite literally the worst one to have your controls on because you can't see what each transition is you need to know that once you get on the ground okay so to actually see things like this the only one that you need to be using is a one called legacy legacy is pretty much the universal one used by you know top level players or pretty much anyone who likes like wrestling because it gives you multiple options and various transitions to go for actually go for a takedown is going to be a little bit different than it was in ufc 4 to go for you're going to hold down the left trigger lt or l2 on playstation and xbox and it's going to be the left two but the left two and the right two buttons on your controller which is going to be on playstation is going to be triangle and circle and then square and x now depending on which stance you are is going to trigger two different types of takedowns that's going to be the double leg takedown and then the single leg takedown. So you have to pay attention to which stance you're in so you know which one you're going for. And to actually tell the difference between the two is just pay attention to what leg is your lead leg. If your left leg is your lead leg, all you got to do is hold down LT or L2 on PlayStation and X and square. Now, you see that right there? That is something called a power takedown. Now to actually go for the power takedown, all you have to do instead of tapping x or circle when you're going for your takedowns you actually hold it like this right here boom you see right there i held it that time when i was at south pole and i'll have a double leg takedown you can actually move around with those things okay so but you got to be careful because they do drain your stamina right so when you go for it just immediately press x or circle depending on which uh variation of takedown you went for and just slam them so you can recover that stamina instantly Okay, now that we're actually on the ground and we now have those legacy uh, grappling hook controls on, you can see there's variations of different transitions you can go for. Now in each position, it's pretty much gonna be the same uh, aside from full guard. Full guard has uh, one more transition than the other, the other three positions in this game, okay? Um, so up on your right stick is always going to be for a posture up. And side control is gonna be a knee on belly and full mount is gonna be a posture up. Half guard is gonna be a posture up. Uh, side control is going to be a posture up and even full guard all of them are going to be postured up anytime you're going up okay so watch this i go up and then boom now i can right here i can land my grounded pound i can land my hooks i can land my straights i can land my elbows now in this position you can't land elbows but you get what i mean okay so anytime you go up you can land your grounded pound left and right are going to be primarily where you want it to advance transitions so for example right if i am Let's say Leon Edwards goes to half guard right here, right? Now, if I am in, uh, now if I'm on bottom, right? And I don't want to be in a half guard position, what are you going to do? You're not going to go up. Up is for reversal. And remember this, up is always the slowest transition when you're on the bottom. It's going to be the absolute slowest one you can go for. So never go, and when you're in half guard and full guard, never go up unless you properly set it up and you have the stam advantage, okay? I see a lot of players do that and they wonder why their stam is low get dominated on the ground is because you're kind you get too predictable which way you're going with the transitions everyone's favorite one is to go up i don't know why it is but everybody just loves going up okay so do not go up okay pay attention to what your opponent is doing if they're posturing on you like okay they're not gonna be you know they're not gonna be able to deny this so you go left left is the more favorable transition which advance you in a more favorable favorable transition to get up which is full guard now that we're in full guard we can go over the get ups the get ups are very good uh they're pretty responsive in this game and ufc 4 they weren't as responsive in this one you're able to get up a lot faster and a lot quicker if you know what you're doing okay so to actually go for a get up it's the same way you actually transition it's going to be down left and up now remember what i said about that up transition uh just a few seconds ago do not go for this up transition right here i'm telling you it's going to get denied 
so quickly it's gonna get denied very fast because it's a super slow transition like watch this bro look how slow look how slow that startup animation is compared to this one right here look how fast that is and now look how slow this one is you see what i mean look how slow that is i can deny that easily anybody who know how to deny transitions can deny that easily now in have guard and side control to actually get up you're gonna do something called an advanced transition now i'm not gonna go over all of the advanced transitions that's gonna be for the more advanced and complex grappling tutorial but for today we're gonna be using advanced transitions to actually get up now whether you're in full guard like like i said now, like I said, if you're in half guard and side control, you need to do these things to actually get up, okay? So you're gonna hold down L1 or LB on your controller, and you're gonna go whatever, you're gonna go whatever way you know the get up is green at. So sometimes it's left, sometimes it's right, okay? So if it's that, boom, I go that way, I'm able to get up, boom, able to get up boom able to get up things like that I have to be careful with setting it up which is gonna bring me right into my next little transition which is faking transitions now i'm gonna go over the, the basic explanation of it faking a transition basically gives you something called grapple advantage as you can see at the top of your screen that little bar right there grapple advantage it's going to flash uh when a person has uh advantage so it's gonna go it's gonna be red and blue for the respective corners okay so when that person bar is completely full it's letting them know that's when there's the best chance to either transition or go for a takedown when when you're on the feet obviously but when you're on the ground it's telling you that's the best chance you have at going for a transition without the person denying it okay so you can you know now, like I mentioned how some of these transitions are slow, okay? If you wanna set up that transition to get up or to advance to the next position, you're gonna have to go for transition fakes. And to fake transitions, it's going to be whatever way you're going with the uh, transition. So if I'm going left, okay, let's say I wanna go left full guard. I wanna fake that transition. You're gonna go left on your right stick and you're gonna hold down the right trigger. So watch this. Boom, you see how I instantly tap, you have to instantly hold it. Don't let it play out. You see, this is gonna get denied right here. Boom, that's gonna get denied. It has to be quick. Boom, like that. Boom, like that. Boom, like that. Don't do this and then fake it. They're gonna deny it and then they're gonna transition into a more advantage position, a more dominant position. You do not wanna do that. Just make sure it's very quick and subtle. Boom, and then you're right back up to the feet like that because guess what you build up grapple advantage with those fakes to get back up to your feet to get to a more advantage position to go for that ground the point ground and pound excuse me or even a submission but you guys that's pretty much it for what i have for uh, this tutorial in the advanced grappling tutorial i'm going to be going over pretty much everything i want to go over a lot of positions i, I just want to go over a lot of things but this is for my newer players or players who really don't know what they're doing this was for you i hope i uh went over everything i hope i answered any questions you have if i didn't let me know down below in the comment section either me or anyone in the comment you know in the community in my community ufc5 community or whatever will be happy to answer your questions okay but let me know down below in the comment section again uh any questions you have and what tutorials do you guys want to see next what do you need help with let me know it's been jay Mamie with another ufc5 tutorial peace love and prosperity love you guys do something productive with your day beating your meat is not productive see you guys next time it's been jamie man peace